Hello guys, welcome to Sovereign Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your sovereign problems. It's nice having you in class again today, I've been. We are going to continue using our DEM data. We want to show you how you can get cross-sectional profile from your DEM. The key element to determine your cross-section most times is what your elevation data right good and it's actually the key element or the key data in your digital elevation model that's the elevation so on today's video we are going to show you a plugin which you can use to um, draw cross-sectional profiles from what your digital elevation model so if you're coming to the channel for the first time you can encourage us by subscribing and if you are returning viewer, thanks for always checking up on us. So without spending much time, let's assess the plugin. So we come to plugin, we go to what manage and install plugins, right? Good. So under plugins, we now search for the plugin we are going to use, and it's called them um, profile two. It's called profile two. So these two plots profile lines from raster layers or point vector layers with elevation field. You can see. The elevation field is very very key right it's primary so we already have it installed if you don't have it installed you just come up to this tab and then you see what install or maybe upgrade or something right good so we just close it since it's already installed so we now come to the plugin which is this right good so you would see it under the plugin tab right under the plugin toolbar good so since the plugin is out we have our merged data we have what our merged data being selected under our layer panel so we just come to what add layer we come to what add layer so we've added or we want to add that our merged them towards to the layer then we are going to use this cursor on the screen this um, cursor that seems like a cross right good we are going to use it on the screen now to draw a line now it is on that line that the plugin will now determine or design the cross-sectional profile are we together so let's say we are coming from this point to this point so when you're done you just double click to stop that particular line right good so good you now see the profile has been plotted so as you over your mouse around the graph or as you over your mouse around the profile you would also see what on the then you can also see the lines what being indicated right so this is the end and then you can still come up to the beginning right good so this is how you use this plugin to plot or design cross-sectional profile of or from your dem from your digital elevation model however this is not the end when you come on that table you would see the difference what um interpolations right you would see should we call it interpolations you see the elevations and there are different distances apart you know this um your dem is actually it has the coordinates of the points and it also has the elevation of those points which means when you come under this table there is a part you can copy to clipboard you can copy to clipboard with coordinates right so we are not going to look at create them um, temporary layer we are going to look at copy to clipboard with coordinates now when you copy to clipboard with coordinates you would see these elevations yeah all of these values these are your elevation values you would see them alongside the coordinates of each point so if you have maybe 1000 or 100 or 200 points as you can as you will see very soon from this um, cross section we have plotted you would see on each of those points the elevations that are corresponding to those points right good so that is what this table does so that's what you can get when you come on that table and you go towards copy to clipboard with coordinates so we just click on it so we are going to assess this on what on excel right we are going to assess this on excel so we are going to get there however if you don't want to get the coordinates out and you just want to save this your profile maybe you attach it to your report or to your project or maybe whatever you've done as an end product you can either save the graph as a png you can save it as an SVG or maybe you can export to DXF, which is what AutoCAD format, right? Good. So these are some other things you can do with your what with your DEM data. Sorry, with the um profile tool plugin using your what using your DEM data, right? Good. So we've shown you how you can draw the line on your DEM, and then we've also shown you how the cross-sectional profile runs on what under your profile tool, right? Good. I haven't shown you that, we've also shown you that yes. These points, or let's say the line that has been drawn, 
they have coordinates and they also have elevation that's xyz or maybe latitude longitude and what the elevation right good or the altitude as the case may be and those values can actually be seen when you click on what copy to clipboard with coordinates with what with coordinates so when you click on that and you paste on excel you are going to what, assess the coordinates and their elevation and you're going to see that very soon also showing you that you can save this your graph you know you can zoom in you know, zoom out if you have two of them that you want to compare you can change your color and you know compare them and you see okay maybe you downloaded them from different data source we are actually covering the same area you can see that there will be some difference maybe you want to perform analysis or whatever the case is but uh, we just have one them here and we are not trying to analyze the demo we have we are just trying to see how the profile is being depicted right so you can see that the elevations are not equal across that line we have drawn right good so now let's see how we are going to save it so we are saving it as a png so as this png is being selected we are saving the graph as png so we just click on what save us good so we are working on a folder called um um profile tool so let's just save this as a um, test right good we save that as test and we click on save so it has been saved right good so this particular graph has been saved the next thing we want to save now are those coordinates that we want or the next thing we want to see now are those coordinates we copied from the table right click and um, copy to clipboard with coordinates so we are going to open excel and paste it there so you can also see what the coordinates good so we have what our excel spreadsheet open so we can just click on what paste right good so we have what the the different um, coordinates the coordinates of the points so that's the longitude latitude and what the altitude right good so you can now see the elevations of the different points as we what as we picked on our them so there are about 1004 points as we've picked on that straight line and then these should be their distances apart like you know maybe like something like a point cloud or so i can't just say but this should be their distances apart as we have what as we have selected on our what on our digital elevation model on qgic right so you can see this line then these are their corresponding elevation values their distances apart maybe this should be the first point the elevation of the first point and then as we as the line kept going since they are very close then these are the elevations of those subsequent points right good as you can see as you can see them here they are very very close however their elevations are not um, that close the elevations are not that close as we can see from what as we can see from this table so with this you can just save as uh, your appendix or maybe uh, save it as an appendix so that you can add to what your profile just like we are going to still show you how you can assess what the png that we also what we also saved right good so this is the graph we saved from what from qgis the graph that is showing what the profile right good this is the graph that shows the profile of what our cross section or let's say the cross sectional profile right so this is the image so you can also attach this to your report or you can attach the excel file as an appendix to your report or whatever the case is or depending on what the product is maybe the product that is required by your teacher or maybe your client so with this we believe that we've shown you how you can use that um, profile tool plugin on qgis we've shown you how you can plot or yeah how you can show the cross-sectional profile we've shown you how you can export to what to excel how you can also save your profile as an image right and you can access all of those on your device so thanks for coming to class we hope we've provided solution to this particular surveying or gis problem if you have any question you can always um, leave it on the comment section and we are going to get back to you as soon as we can so until we see you on the next video you can check the description section of this video to support the channel keep sharing this video and keep being good at what you're doing bye